Hermit Docs, it's Simon here, welcome to Hermit's Cave. Firstly, you will have just noticed, uh, just before I get to the unboxing, you will have just noticed that um, I've got a new little intro to my videos and um, with permission from Mariana, I, um, I asked if I could ask for feedback and she said yes please because she is new as well and would like proper constructive feedback. So, oh, probably about four, or five, maybe even six months ago, I um, spoke to Mariana. She has the YouTube channel Inspiring Alien, and I asked her where she got her kind of video intros from, and she said she does them herself. So I asked if she'd look at doing one for me, something to do with a cave, a lantern, to, just to give that sort of feeling of a hermit's cave. And, um, I, I bought this clip from her um, yesterday and um, yeah I have decided to use it and see what people think to it but um, it's her first time ever making one uh, as as part of her profession uh, she is a deck creator and you know um, is, is quite, quite a creative person and is, is looking for feedback because this is an area that she is hoping to move into so Please do let us know below what you think to the intro and uh, Marianne will check back from time to time as well to have a look at people's comments. Okay, so um, the unboxing today you will have seen from the title is the Bessicon by uh, this one from Il Manigello and I'm really excited about this. I did say last night that I've got like five decks coming this week and this is the third of the five. Um, and this I saw on JJ's channel, so the Jolly Old Tarot. He, I've been speaking to him and I, after watching the Tarology video, which led me to buy the, the Noble as well, I said to him, you know, what, what kind of deck would you recommend that's proper traditional Marseille that is of Il Manigello quality? because I really, I really do like these and they are really nice quality actually. And he said, uh, the best of And he said, go and check it out. I've got uh, an uploading of it. And I'll, if I remember, I'll try and remember, I'll put a link to that video below. So do have a look, he does a, a great walkthrough. Um, and it's, it's arrived today. So I love your Manigello decks. This is my, now this is gonna um, upset my beautiful symmetry. <laughs> Maybe I'll take down one of the, um, the, the Minky Artists. <coughs> Just leave up the Etruria. So I have nine. So this is my tenth Il Manigello deck. Um, but I really, really do um, love the look of this. And I love their boxes. Their wax seals and things. Okay, so it says on it, Turocco D. Besancon. Now, Besancon is, um, the, even though this, this style of deck was manufactured in a lot of cities, um, Besancon was one of the cities where this was manufactured and it kind of stuck because it, it linked it to the, the art style of, of the card. So it stuck um, with that name. Um, and what's great about this is Il Manigello version is a facsimile. So you see all the imperfections, you see the fading, you see the, some of the lines not being quite right. Um, where the wood block is, is fading away, that's, that's all there too, which, which is wonderful. You get your usual Il Manigello um, books. And it is mine is number five hundred and thirty six of a thousand copies. So you do get that little. Um, that's not in English. Oh, it is at the back. So you get a little write up as well by Alberto Milano. Um. So yeah. So as I said, all the imperfections are there. The uh, kind of um, where the wood block has started to, to wear away and things like that is, is all still there. Oh, 
just have to have a sniff, don't you? These are the backs, which are really nice. Nice backs. And the interesting thing about this deck, and you know, JJ talks about it on his, um, so as not to upset the Catholics at the time, they removed the Papess and the Pope. So we have um, Juno and Jupiter. And this is the basis of the one JJ Swiss, which actually is my first ever tarot deck um, 31 years ago. <laughs> and I, I managed to get it again, so I have the one JJ Swiss. So cardstock is really nice. It's Il Manigello cardstock. There is, it's not rough, rough like um, perhaps Le Court kind of rough, but it's it's beautiful, beautiful card. It's matte. Here we have our full. You don't need me to say the um, the name of every card. But I love that because it does look really aged and worn. And I love the imperfections. I love when the colour comes out of the lines and that block printing. So there's Juno. The Empress and Emperor. Put them together. And then we have Jupiter. I mean, it's not the same artwork as um, the one JJ Swiss. They're very different, but you know, that whole uh, switching them around. That is so off center, look at that. <laughs> You've got the border there. And then right to the edge here. Gorgeous Hermit card. Love it. Strength. Hanged Man. Yeah, it's so, so gorgeous. Nothing like the Mangalo deck. Temperance, Devil, La Maison du, the Tower, the Moon card is wow. I love that. Beautiful blue. You don't often see that sort of blue. A star outside the sun. Gorgeous judgment card. The world. And then we have our Pips. I'll quickly go through these, but just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. So, I mean, you don't really need me to go through all of the miners because with a Marseille deck it's just kind of a, a multiplication isn't it there's our courts come here the ballet and then our cups I love the cups and the pentacles in a Marseille deck I think they're absolutely stunning mind you I like them all flowers in between. I mean this one. Really lovely. And then we have our ten. Oh they 
feel gorgeous. These are going to feel amazing to shuffle. And then we have our swords. The unmistakable design. A four and a five. And if we go to the courts. Oh, and then we have the coins, which I adore. Absolutely stunning. Isn't it strange how I'm having this real draw at the moment to Marseille decks? I mean, I'm always going to be Rider Waite Smith at heart, but there is something so beautiful. I mean, you can see the fade in here, look, at the top from the bottom. It just, you just feel like you're holding a piece of history. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, it's, I don't know, just recently, just seeing them, and I think watching Tarology and seeing that freedom um, that a pip can give you, you know, having that... Uh, and I spoke about this last night, so not, I don't want to repeat myself too much, but you know, having that freedom to explore without having a kind of a set image. And you can still explore and you can still go into uh, lots of depth with a Rider Waite Smith, but having the Rider Waite Smith background knowledge and then moving into a Marseille, whereas a lot of people have done it the other way around, I think, um, has afforded me to you know, had add multiple layers to readings, which I'm really enjoying. Okay, so if you're looking for um, a Marseille deck, like I was, that has character, that has that sort of aged feel on quality paper, um, then I can highly recommend the uh, Turocco de Bessacom. Uh, by El Menigello and you get their lovely, hard, beautiful boxes. I've kept this short guys because I'm going to be getting ready now for a live discussion over on Shane's channel at Read the Wonder where we're going to be talking about authenticity. Authenticity. <laughs> Didn't sound right when I said that. Uh, which was, it's our third discussion um, between the two channels and probably the last one um, where it's kind of transatlantic <laughs> from one continent to another because next week Shane will be here. Um, so yeah, if you can join us, um, by the time I've uploaded this, it not be much notice, I wouldn't have thought, because it's happening in an hour and ten minutes. Um, but over at Read the Wonder, I hope to see you there. Have a great evening, guys, and until next time, go in peace. Namaste and blessed be.